mind coming over here and uh, standing in line, single file, right behind the microphone, just kind of like in a line like that. And you can be girl, boy, girl, boy, or boy, girl, boy, girl, whichever you choose. Or girl, girl, boy, boy. <laughs> oh. these, uh, these are the quick thinking ones. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I told you I was worried about that turtle neck. <laughs> The four of you are going to help us play a game called Fill In. And how this is going to work is uh, we're going to be doing a scene. Let's see, I'm going to put this somewhere in the middle. Uh, the taller people just have to bend down a little bit, and the shorter people stretch. Uh, uh, you're going to help us do a scene. We will be doing the scene, Colin and I, and from time to time when we are speaking in the middle of a sentence, we will hesitate, uh, stop talking, and just sort of raise our hand to indicate to you that we want you to finish our sentence. Now, most importantly, it's not about making sense, it's about keeping up the pace, all right? So all we want is whatever flies out of the top of your head uh, quickly, as opposed to stopping and going, mm, uh, and trying to search for the perfect answer. It's all about pace. Now, when you speak in the mic, speak really close like this so that everybody can hear you. If you're far away like that, um, they won't be able to hear you. So uh, let's just have a practice with you. Uh, and, and, and be right up on the mic so that you're right in the position, ready to go the minute we, the second we stop. I just bought a... Huge guitar and I can't wait to play it. Huge guitar and I can't wait to play it. Exactly, just like that. You can finish it with a word or the rest of a phrase or sentence or anything. There are no wrong answers. Right, Colin? There are wrong answers. Oh, okay. Uh, and then, uh, during the scene, then you'll rotate through and we'll just keep cycling through you throughout the scene. Each of you will be responsible for 25% of the stuff. Okay? All right. Pay attention, turtleneck. <laughs> He's like, giving her the eyebrow. Something, something. Uh, uh, so, uh, for this scene, what do we need? Uh, for this scene, uh, um, how about from over here, uh, a noun? Table. Table. We got table. And from over here, a verb. Huh? Revolving. Oh, that's a nice verb. Revolving. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're going to use it as an adjective, but it's perfect. We are. No, no, revolving, it's, it's, it's motion, I like it, I'm not making fun of you. Uh, we are now going to present uh, a couple of scenes from a, a wonderful, a, a scene, from a wonderful Broadway uh, Tony Award winning play, The Revolving Table. It won a bunch of awards uh, for Best Drama and uh, Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor. Uh, so you're going to see a scene from The Revolving Table. weather. On my way in, there was a huge batch of monkeys falling down because the clouds had changed. <laughs> there was a huge batch of monkeys falling down because the clouds had changed. It was one of those high-pressure front simian squalls. There's been a lot of monkeys falling these days. Yeah. That's I miss the days when it was raining cats and dogs. Yeah. Now that's why I decided to stay in and work on my revolving table. I made it entirely out of... Red rain boxes. Red rain boxes. Wow. I was wondering why you saved all those stupid red rain boxes in the barn for so long. Now you know. I thought you'd never use them, but finally, you've made a revolving table. I can't see it because you put a tablecloth on it. Yeah. No, it's beautiful. I got a big order from Italy for time date. <laughs> I hope you have a space in the center for banana bread. Absolutely. You can't have time day without banana bread. Any fool knows that. Yes. I am worried about one thing, though. I'm worried about the... My God, my grandpa said never leave home without your hair name because, hey, you get some screwed up. Screws you up. I'm sorry, I mean, taking a lot of drugs. Uh, are you using some strange adhesives to glue these red rain boxes together? I, I've been working two weeks straight. Open a window, sleep. for God's sakes, you're delirious. This place smells like a. Uh... 
Place where the monkeys landed. Place where the monkeys landed. Wherever there's monkeys, you know what else there is. Other monkeys. Oh, what? Yes, monkeys. Yes. You know, all I have left is a revolving table ever since Susie left. Oh, I didn't... Yeah. I didn't realize Susie had left you. I just got back. That must be... Really exciting. I mean, she was horrid. It's been really exciting. I mean, she was horrid, so I think that's, that's my wife you're talking about. I think it's a good thing. I oh, come on, everybody thing. hated her. Hey, come on! You're lucky you're better off without her. She sucked. No! Ask anyone. Pick anyone on the phone book. They all hated her. I loved her more than anything. She inspired me. First time I saw her, she said, I love your leopard print speedo. <laughs> It was embarrassing because I just popped into McDonald's to get a happy meal. I just come from the pool and she was working behind the counter. From there, love blossomed. She actually gave me the idea for the revolving table. Happy meal. Then we went to the Burger King and I gave her a Whopper. But enough of that. Uh, I guess that's better than Timbits. Yes. Anyway, I, I've been working feverishly on this. But you've given your whole life to this, and it's cost you your relationship. Can't you see that you've been fixating on these red rain boxes and this revolving table for too long? You need to change things up. You need to. Perhaps you need to have a look at maybe going to dine where you can have eight minutes huh? in the uh, in the scenario. Perhaps. I hope this isn't going to take too long. You need to go somewhere where dying. I'm drunk. I am blotto. What is wrong with you? You never get drunk unless unless something is terribly wrong with you. I am. The, the last time you got drunk was when. There was like oh my god, I can't think about it right now. But the last time you got drunk is when the zombies took over. <laughs> the last time you got drunk is when the zombies took over, remember? Uh, <laughs> yes, they were at the end of that 60s concert. They closed the show. Why are you drunk now? I thought Hermit's Hermit should have ended it, but no, the zombies took over. I'm still drunk. I tried to fall in with the whole beatnik poet crowd. I tried to wear blazers and turtlenecks, but it didn't work. I just got razor rash through here. And rosacea from all the alcohol. Yeah. I, mean, I feel your heart is... I wish I had a... Yeah, yeah, I am. I've got a secret to tell you. I just found out that... That peanut butter and cheese whiz go amazingly well together, and I'm not allergic to it. You might want to sit down for this. <laughs> I just found out that peanut butter and cheese whiz go amazing together, and I'm not allergic to it. I can see where you got drunk. <laughs> If that's not a reason to celebrate and get shit-faced, I don't know what is! I can have all the peanut butter and cheese whiz, sandwiches, fondue, bouillabaisse, gumbo I want without a single rash. I'm the luckiest man in the world. Maybe. I remember a simpler time. Remember when we talked in shorter sentences? I miss those days. I can barely remember those days. Sometimes I can barely remember my entire sentence myself. I'm worried about you. You're the one who's going to be manufacturing all my revolving tables. What? Well, I was going to give you the order. You didn't even tell me I was involved in this crazy fool's errand of yours. Well, you manufacture furniture and you also... Date Sarah Palin. Date Sarah Palin? <laughs> So, 